Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to part two of the go-kart series. So, what are we doing today? So, we mounted the engine on the back of it, and uh, I went over the mount plate and everything, but I didn't really go over it in depth as to how it mounted to the go-kart, because we kind of thought we were done in the first part. So, you know, we thought we were just going to take it out there and mount a motor to it and be done. Turns out it needs brake work. So, we're going to focus on that today first, um, right after we change the spark plug in it because we went over that in the last video it was a little black I didn't think there was anything wrong with it but now it is making absolutely no power whatsoever so like I mean I can crank this thing up and it'll just sit here and it won't go anywhere and it probably should just about take off with it the second you crank it so uh, yeah we're gonna try to fix that and uh, yeah that's what today's video is gonna be about basically making this thing better than it already is and uh, maybe you know Fixing the seat, cleaning it up, do something else. You know, we'll we'll make it up as we go. So, yeah. Did it just quit? Yeah, I turned it sharp and it just shut off. Save it! Okay, so the only thing really painted on this go-kart is this, and it's actually just a bunch of stickers. So, it's all kind of peeling off. So, what I wanted to do was, I don't want to really peel off all the stickers, because that's a lot of work. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, Okay. Seriously though, I do not really want to peel off the whole thing. Like the middle parts and stuff. The middle part I actually really like. So what I want to do...
is just kind of put like a white stripe. Right here, right there, and then right here on this arrow. So these three will be white. And then I want to put my YouTube emblem emblem here. Just cause I want to leave my little mark on it. You know, so the people know that I did it. All right, so I changed my mind. I decided to go sober. So yeah, this car's getting painted. Also, there's some weird motherfuckers staring at me. So that's super cool. No, I've never painted with my left hand. Alright, I'm going to go inside and wait for that coat to dry. I'll come back out here and maybe put on another coat. We'll see what it looks like.
Okay, so I got the new caliper installed, but I couldn't get it to bleed and I couldn't get it to hold pressure. Uh, turns out this bracket right here was actually wrong. And um, it was actually hitting that bracket instead of hitting the caliper. So I used the bracket that uh, came with it versus using the old bracket and just spaced it out with some nuts. So now it's, it turns nice and free, but I couldn't get any fluid pressure back here. So I bought a new master cylinder, and I'm going to hope that it works. But before I do that, uh, I also bought a new carburetor for it, because we are still going to try to fix the problem that, you know, it's slow, sluggish, and just kind of all, all, all around sucks. So, uh, I thought the fuel was already shut off. It wasn't. <laughs> There's no fuel going through this anymore. This line is actually completely blocked off back there. It's just full of crap. So before I even do anything, I'm going to have to clean it out again. But for right now, I'm just going to pull all this apart. And uh, pull the carburetor all back off of it. remove that spring and I'm going to try to get y'all yeah that's kind of the best I can do but there's a rod here and it actually doesn't remove until you pull the carburetor off but that the line can come off this can come off and then that rod comes out and the old carb is off Before I put the gaskets on, I want to make sure that this is going to work. It looks like it will. So, yeah, so this is the new carburetor. Um, the only difference I really notice is this screw right here. And then this is a little bit longer. But, this is for a Predator engine. And this is for the Coleman engine. Notice the similarities in them. There's a little bit of a different design here where they go on the flanges, but if we put the chokes in the same position on both of them, you know, they're basically the exact same carburetor. And if you look at these engines, the Predator engine looks very, very, very similar to this one. So, this came with four gaskets, so I'm actually going to spare gaskets. So, I think where this one goes that one goes here a little choke 
one goes back here, so. Oh. One for that. Damn it. Alright, that gasket goes on. Then we can slide our carburetor on and <laughs> so we gotta put these rods and stuff back in. I don't know why they're coming out of the bracket on the cart, but yeah, we actually have to put this one in before. Get out of mighty, come on. What the? My dear goodness. All right. There. Now we put in the spring, which goes sort of like that, and then hooks onto there. That's our throttle hooked up. Then we have our second gasket. Just go here against that. Then oh none of that just yet. Okay, so the gas tank tore up on me again. So I actually ended up fixing the original fitting that we had all the way before. And I'm gonna try to JB weld it back together so that I can get something that'll work. I finally found a new fitting for it online, but I don't really want to spend any more money because I've already spent a lot. And uh, yeah, so I'm barely making money off of this thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna proceed here. I'm going ahead and install our master cylinder. And uh, the way that it came, was with, the paddle and all that assembly made together and the reservoir and master is already made on it so yeah rather than going through and redoing everything they've done this one's actually adjustable far more than the other one uh, the other one actually had a capsule nut back here we're gonna see how it works uh, so basically I'm gonna pre-fill it with brake fluid and bleed it on the cart I'm not gonna worry about trying to bleed it off of it because that's going to be terrible so I'm going to go ahead and remove this cotter pin here which is rusted out so I'm going to have to replace it with a new one and uh, get this get this piece off of the pedal right here all right so ignore the lawnmower it won't run uh go-kart is done the reveal was slightly unsatisfying but it is done all right so basically I never could get our fuel system to completely seal, so I just kind of went to the junkyard, found a gas tank off of something else, and I made a bracket and bolted it to it. Uh, I got tired of screwing with the old one, because it kept leaking from the thing, so I just decided to forget it, we're just going to ditch the whole thing. You can no longer mount a spare tire to it, but, I mean, what, who cares, I mean, you're, this thing's made to drive around the yard. It still doesn't necessarily have the torque and the horsepower that I really was looking for out of it, but it's done, and uh, I think they're going to be really happy with it. If they ever later want to decide to do a motor swap, maybe put a 212cc or something bigger on it, this this 3 horsepower just isn't giving it quite enough. Uh, so I bypassed the governor on it, the non-taking the engine apart way. I don't know if it helped it. To be honest, I just removed the governor lever right here. I just removed it and made a new linkage Ow. going from here to the carburetor. I'll just go right now. So, yeah, I just made this is actually just a coat hanger. So, <laughs> yeah, I just made a new linkage for that and called that done. 
So, it still it does not feel very powerful. It's definitely better than it was with the old carburetor and the old spark plug. Uh, it, like I said, it definitely does run better. But, it doesn't quite have the oomph that, you know, I guess I would like for it. But, it, then again, it's not my go-kart. Uh, but this has been a very fun build regardless. We finally got the brakes working. Uh, I didn't do too much showing because it was a lot of work and effort. But uh, I got this new master cylinder installed. I ended up having to shortening. I ended up having to shorten the stud and uh, the master cylinder. It took forever to bleed it, but I finally got in the right orientation where the fluid flow is nice. Uh, so yeah, I bled the master cylinder. Probably about 10 times. Bled the brake caliper about 10 times. Finally got fluid pressure to hold. <laughs> Started going down the road for 5 minutes. Uh, the entire thing flew apart and we lost the spring. So I realized that this wheel actually wasn't tight enough. This wheel pushes on a small... That thing. And pushes the rotor up against it tight. So whenever that wasn't happening, whenever this... We, okay, the wheel was basically too loose is all I'm trying to say. And, uh, yeah. Basically, it, it it wasn't working right. So, I did some adjustments to it. I remade a spring out of just some wire I had. And, yeah, it seems to be working just fine now. But, this is a Trailmaster ca uh, caliper. Some kind of Honda Master Cylinder. The carburetor is for a Predator 79cc. So, and I made it all work. So, whenever you're going to go work on stuff like this, try to think outside the box a little bit, because you're going to have to. Uh, Coleman no longer makes this go-kart, so therefore parts for it are impossible to find. Um, but I went to Harbor Freight, and I was looking, I was like, okay, we'll swap a Predator onto it. And that was going to be the whole big deal here. But this is identical to a Predator 79cc. I mean, absolutely identical. The gas tank mounts in the same spot. The spark plug is in the same spot. The carburetor is in the same spot and looks exactly the same. So, I bought a Predator carburetor, bolted it on, and it fired up and it runs okay. It still, like I said, does not have the power that I'd like, and I'm not sure if that's because of this engine being too small or just because it's wore out. I'm really not too sure. But, yeah, that's the build. Uh, I did some painting right there just to kind of give it a little more oomph but yeah we're gonna do something with this chair i didn't get around to it i don't really know what to do with it to be honest i could try to rewrap it i guess but it doesn't really seem worth it the chair's in okay condition so i think we're just gonna leave it i think we're just gonna call this done for now um maybe later on in a couple years or so this thing will come back to me and I'll be able to put a big old engine on it, cut these bars, extend it, you know, make this thing what it ought to be. And uh, we can do all that then. But for now, guys, that is going to do it for the go-kart build. I, for I need to put that little center cap back and I have a couple more finishing touches to do. But it's done. Uh, our next small engine build. Uh, I, I already have a brand new carburetor for this. I happened to come by for really cheap a, a little while ago. I'm going to go ahead and slap it on there because they can't get this thing to run. But, um, yeah. There is a big announcement, though, that I want to make. And I don't want everyone to get too excited, but I think we're going to uh, officially stop break ground on a big shop, like a real automotive shop. And it's going to be down there behind the fence beside where the wood shop is. But, um, yeah, that's a ways off, good ways off. Uh, the 81 is still in progress. I don't know why, but I'm not very good at making videos about that thing. I've done some more work to the 429. It's coming along, getting buttoned up, ready to start. But, uh, yeah, I just been trying to make money in the meantime, keep my money good. You know, because if we don't do that, we can't do anything. So, yeah, that's what, that's what funds these builds is me working, so... Yeah, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this go-kart series. Um, we're going to take some shots of us driving with it and try to get some pretty cool shots. Uh, my little sister has a new camera. I'm sure she's dying to try out. So, 
we will do that.